Chapter 16 Part 1 Gifts Six months later, Wanyin Yeke Vu was asleep on his air mattress when MLEZ awakened him. Sambayoth is pleased with the dedication of his children, he has helped them learn because the next task of your journey is quickly coming upon you. For the next two weeks, they need to learn their gifts, and how to use them. They must recognize it for themselves for them to appreciate them. Today eat and meditate for today, Sabaoth gifts are given. Wanyin Yeke Vu woke everyone up at 1 a.m. saying today, we will not June but meditate. They had looked forward to training, but at the same time, it truly relieved them. Thinking it was a surprise for them because Wanyin Yeke Vu was acting mysterious, so not knowing what to expect, they kept their guards up anyways, just in case it was a trick. By 6 a.m. they prepared to go out to fish. Jom had gotten so caught up in his training that he was constantly meditating. Even now he was thinking about how he first met Wanyin Yeke Vu and how his brother was fussing about him trying to touch the bubble wall in El Paso. When he heard Jonathan, how are you doing that? Jom? Jom turned, do what? Jonathan said, wait. Jom looked around and saw a look of awe on their faces. Jom said, what in the hell is wrong with you guys? Jonathan ran to his tent, grabbed a mirror, and returned to Jom, saying, look. To his amazement, he had Wanyin Yeke Vu's body, face, hands, everything. For he was Wanyin Yeke Vu. Jom quickly stopped thinking, and he returned to himself. Jonathan said, you did me too. Jom thought about Jonathan, he changed into Jonathan and quickly changed back to himself. How did I do that? Jom said, looking at Wanyin Yeke Vu. Wanyin Yeke Vu said, this is your gift from Sabayoth. Looking at the rest, he said, continue to meditate, and your gift will manifest. Jom stood fishing, smiling and laughing. He changed back into Wanyin Yeke Vu, looked at Wanyin Yeke Vu, truly, Sabayoth is able. A cold, then hot feeling rushed through Jom's entire body. Then all of a sudden, he started saying things that no one understood. Jom looked at Wanyin Yeke Vu to ask him what was happening, and Wanyin Yeke Vu did a dance and started speaking another language as well. He stopped and told Jom to continue as the Sabayoth works with you. Wanyin Yeke Vu spoke to the rest. This is the sign that Sabayoth has accepted you, and given you your true indication of his acceptance, to speak in other tongues, we call enlightenment. Jonathan and Daniel are fishing, while the rest are scattered in different directions as some medicate, and others gather beans and berries. Mercy was singing and collecting berries, her singing made her happy while grabbing a berry she couldn't quite reach, then, suddenly, she heard her basket drop. But she had the berry on her back. She looked from side to side and saw this long object in front of her face. She stopped, Joy? How did I get up here? Surprised, Joy shouted, You, you're a bird. Mercy laughed and quickly came down the tree, but unknowingly, she was a snake slithering down the tree. Clapping her hands, Joy told Mercy, Do it again. Do it again. Every time Joy clapped her hand, she saw sparks coming from her hands. She held her hand up, and electricity went out of her hands like lightning bolts. Excited, she pointed to Elisha. Elisha. She shouted, and a bolt of lightning shot from her hand and headed toward Elisha. Elisha held up his hand as he saw the lightning racing toward him, but it hit some kind of force field and exploded on impact. Elijah was fishing and heard everything so far away and came running to see what was all the excitement was about. I heard you all the way over there by the lake. Said, Elijah. Elisha replied. How is that possible? Before Elijah could say a word, Joy pointed to the east. What is that cloud of dust coming from? Wanyin Yeke Vu was approaching them. That's Grace. She just ran 15 miles around the entire lake in 3.2 seconds. Jonathan was walking toward everyone, holding Daniel by the hand. It seems like everyone has received their gift, except Daniel and me. Jom said to Jonathan. If that's you holding Daniel's hand, you have received yours as well, for we cannot see you. Daniel looked at Jonathan. He felt his hand, but he was not there. Daniel smiling said, you're invisible. Wanyin Yeke Vu was very proud and looked at everyone. Your gifts are manifested, and Sabaoth is pleased. As he continued, suddenly everyone was dancing and speaking in new tongues. An hour went by before everyone stopped. Wanyin Yeke Vu said, for the next two weeks, you are to perform a holy jun on your own and perfect your gifts until we hear a word from Sabaoth. But know this, your skills and your gifts go hand in hand. If you perform your skills without your gift, you are a man. If you perform your skills as you perform your gift, you are ten times a man because Sabaoth has given you these gifts, and you are with Sabaoth and Sabaoth is with you. Spiritual gifts, a spiritual person, 
then we must fight in the Spirit. Looking confused by his words, and before anyone could ask a question, Wanyan Yekevu said, I know, I know. I went through it as well. Sabaoth will show you what I mean, as he showed me. The following day everyone was practicing with their gifts, and Wanyan Yekevu was near his tent meditating, when he heard a small voice, everyone has their gifts, but I do not. Is it because I am young? With a sad look on his face, it was Daniel, as Wanyan Yekevu sat up, age has nothing to do with it. Sabaoth blesses whom he chooses when he chooses. Wanyan Yekevu sat up on his bed, why this look of disappointment? Your gift has come. Is it not already here? For did I not hear you spoke with new tongues yesterday? They walked out of the tent and began walking down a path, and Daniel became angry, yes, but I don't know what it is. I can shoot this weapon. He fired three shots in the air as he continued, I can throw this star. Throwing the star at a cactus, hitting it dead center, knocking off a berry. I can run five miles and fight with the best. Wanyan Yeke Vu looked at Daniel, and you just killed that eagle, flying above with that careless shooting. The bird came hustling down to earth just a few yards near them. Daniel started crying as he rushed to the bird. Frantically yelling, No, no. I didn't mean it. He held the bird, and after a moment, the wound pushed out the bullet, and the bird was healed instantaneously and flew off. Daniel sat there crying and laughing at the same time. Wanyan Yekevu smiled, see, your gift is to heal. Now, let's see what else you can do. Daniel ran off with joy and excitement as he ran to tell everyone as Wanyan Yekevu went back to meditate. Before the day had ended, Wanyan Yekevu gathered everyone together. Enjoy your gifts and use them wisely but never be jealous of someone else's gift, or your gift will be taken away. Is a horse jealous of a fish because it can swim? No. Neither is a fish jealous of a horse because it can run at great speed. Neither should you be jealous of another's gift. We make up one body with many members. After a week of practicing and getting familiar with their gifts, Wanyan Yekevu gathers the group together, um kumbi. He shouted. To be as one, we need to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So, what is it that Sabaoth has blessed you with? Seeing Daniel eager to tell his ability smiling, he pointed to him. What is your gift? Daniel stood up. I have the gift to heal. But the more I heal, the weaker I get. I can only heal if it's still alive. My ability does not work on the dead. Wanyan Yeke Vu said, interesting. Jom, sitting next to Daniel, stood up. I can alter my appearance to look like anyone that I think about, as well as become invisible. However, grabbing Mercy's hand, me and Mercy have tried, but we cannot duplicate each other's gift. Mercy continued, true. I can only be animals I think about, but I cannot alter myself to look human. Wanyan Yeke Vu said, also, interesting. Jonathan stood up. I have the gift of invisibility for only an hour however, I can turn visible for a second and return invisible for my time to start all over again. Wanyan Yeke Vu shook his head, next, Elijah and his sister Grace stood up. Elijah said, I can hear at very long distances. Me and Grace tested how far I can hear, and it's two miles, and she was whispering at that. Grace said, he begins modestly, I believe he can hear maybe two and a half miles, but we are still working on it. Smiling at Elijah as she continued, my gift is speed, I can travel 900 miles per hour without being tired or even breaking a sweat. What's so amazing is that it just seems like I'm jogging, except things are passing by me mighty fast. Jonathan interrupted. The speed with which she is going plus the velocity. Velocity is the rate of change of the position of an object, equivalent to a specification of its speed and direction of motion, Wanyan Yeke Vu interrupted him, ah, uh, in plain English. Remember when you asked me almost a year ago today? Now, you speak English? Everyone laughed as Jonathan continued, yes, I remember. But I have come a long way since then. Wanyan Yeke Vu was laughing as he interrupted Jonathan, We can't see you sometimes, I wish we couldn't hear you. Everyone laughed, including Jonathan. Jonathan cleared his throat, Your first joke, good one, too. Sorry, and in English. Grace, with her speed, could kill an elephant just by tapping it lightly. And there are many other qualities associated with her speed. Shaking his head, Wanyan Yeke Vu said, you and Elisha work with her on the other aspect of her speed that she is comfortable with. Wanyan Yeke Vu said as he looked amongst the crowd. Anyone confused with their abilities, check with these two scientists for help. Joy stood up, I think mine and Grace's gift can be enhanced when working together. 
I can conduct electricity somewhat of a supercharger if you will, according to Elisha and Jonathan, I can produce over 150,000 or more amps. We are still working on it. Elisha stood up, I can create a force field at least 15 feet high in front of me or create a dome 15 feet in diameter, so far, I and only I, can discharge objects out of the force field, but nothing we have tried, can penetrate it. Wanyan Yeke Vu stood up, shaking his head, Sabaoth is able. I'm very pleased to hear of your findings, as Jom and Jonathan already know, but the rest do not. My gift is that I know if someone is lying, simply, I can read a person's heart, and I have a second gift as well. I can see into the future for up to 10 minutes, but during the June and our training. Now, I see ahead of time, as I please. Before, it would only appear in visions when dangers is about to happen. They stood there discussing their gifts when suddenly, in the middle of nowhere, they were surrounded by thousands of anakatas. Wanyan Yeke Vu, confused and shocked because he had not seen it in his vision, shouted, Iwa. Everyone from a circle with their back against each other. Wanyan Yeke Vu shouted, Impi. There he saw a figure moving toward them. When the figure reached the front, it was MLEZ, and the anakatas disappeared. Please sit. Jonathan fell to the ground, sobbing like a baby. Everyone looked at him, MLEZ said, leave him, for Sabaoth is dealing with this man for a special reason. He stops and blesses Jonathan by touching him on the head and whispering in his ear, 